All right, guys, we are going to talk about can plants kill you on keto right now? What's up everyone? Today is going to be a great day because I'm going to do the deep dive on, step over here, this stuff. This stuff can kill you. Yes. Can it kill you? Yes, people. I'm not kidding. So as we wait for people to come into the chat and then we need to make sure it's working. Now, I was years ago saying, be careful. This is years ago. You can go back like four years ago, five years ago. I'm like, be careful for the anti-nutrients in plants. And I would say, always say salicylates, oxalates, goitrogens, nightshades. And I would always say oxalates. So we're going to go into this here subject matter. And uh, yes, we got 12 people. We got 13 people. We got people in the house. All right. So... Connections are being made with people having problems with oxalates on keto, which is why people go to carnivore. How we go to carnivore has to be very, very, very like done in a smart way because you can experience oxalate dumping. Now there's a lot of different types of anti-nutrients in these cruciferous vegetables and they do matter. Now, people do dumb versions of keto and it's embarrassing and I'm finally glad that what I've been saying for years is coming to fruition. People are starting to get sick eating almond products and almond fake carbs with almonds. If you're gonna do anything ketogenic, if you're gonna do any friggin' diet, be smart about the foods, the plant source foods that you eat because they can't kill you. As you know, most autoimmune diseases are coming from plants. Yes, so this is spinach. And spinach is high. Now I'm gonna talk about oxalates in particular because you have, you know, you have lectins and you have phytates. These are very common anti-nutrients. So it's the internal pesticide so the plant can survive germination and grow and spread and, you know, you eat a nut, yeah, you walk over there, you poop it, it goes into the ground and it grows. Perfect by nature, by design, way to survive. Plants have been around for gazillions of years before us and us dum-dums don't think about it. So I really feel sorry for the vegans because they are damaging themselves. So I want to go into some of the things that I've been learning about oxalates. And uh, uh, I want to then tell you a couple of situations that have happened recently that made me do this video. Okay, so we got 22 people in the house. Don't forget to like up the stream because it does help people. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm to bring people into this freaking live stream because you guys know I have issues with um, people finding me on, they're not getting their notifications. Now with that said, so oxalates are plants defense and they come in different types of sizes and shapes so they can come in like needles like this like like this right <laughs> can you guys see that they can come in needles uh like structures or they can come in crystal like structures so they almost look a little bit like snowflakes um but they're very sharp and they're very hard and they there you go so here's an example yes yeah, so thank you so this is the needle structure that i'm talking about that an oxalate can form to right? And if we show the other crystal-like ones, thank you, Greek guy. So here's the crystal formation of oxalates under a microscope. And uh, we have another image of a different type of, so here's another crystal-like formation. And this would be like coral, like 
under the, the water like when you cut your leg on coral. So as you can see, there's different types of shapes of o oxalates. And um, they're very much in the foods that people consider keto. So this really is about keto. It's about the standard American diet, of course, and it's about keto specifically because a lot of you guys are eating high oxalate foods. And then it's also having to do with carnivore because you guys are quitting plants, but you're doing it in not the right way because a lot of people are having oxalate dumping. So I want to go over like the different things we need to think about. So for example, um, if we go to some of the food images, So spinach has a lot of potassium in it, and a lot of people like to um, eat spinach for the potassium. I did it for years, and I developed very small, but the beginnings of uh, kidney stones, I started to develop oxalate crystals. So there's a lot of oxalates in spinach, or uh, oxalic, 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 can I talk, acid, and spinach and in parsley. So, um, and I was eating a lot of them because they're low in carbohydrate and I love parsley. And, and so I was just like putting it on my food for flavor and cooking with it and making broths out of parsley. Little did I know I was creating a massive, massive oxalate buildup in my kidneys. Now, if we go to the next image, Got 34 people in the house. That's what's up. I was like, you guys like up the stream. Like two people liked up the stream. Come on, you guys. Don't forget to like up the stream. I don't actually check to see who's liking. So you would be completely anonymous as far as because I'm so busy. Like, but it does help. Now, if we go to something like dark chocolate. Now, the Greek guy, he loves. Where's your, uh, where's your video? My video. You didn't set it up? I always set it up. Okay. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Now we're going to fight. Yes. There's going to be a fight. She's touching my <laughs> beloved chocolate. Yes. You don't touch that. You don't touch that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So dark chocolate, these are the high ones, right? Because a, a lot of foods, a lot of plant source foods have, uh, even coffee has it, but it's not high in oxalate like dark chocolate. So dark chocolate has a lot of oxalates in it oxalate crystals or the uh, oxalates to form crystals. And the problem is, is that a lot of people eat a lot of chocolate. They eat a lot of like people doing low carb diets or paleo diets, eat sweet potato. People are eating a ton of spinach for the, um, uh, potassium benefits, but we can get potassium from other things like leaner meats and from uh, liver and also from a little bit from salt and we can get it from liver, lean meat, oh, and avocado. If you don't have a latex allergy or a, a, an allergic response to avocados, which a lot of you guys do. So essentially when you eat dark chocolate or spinach, you're going to digest it. Immediately those crystals are going to start to irritate the mucus lining of the stomach and your entire GI tract. And uh, the body really likes to hold on to oxalates, unlike let's say phytates in nuts. So there's also oxalates in nuts, but let's say the phytates will go, um, you go and eat a nut, it gets to your small intestine, it will take up all the minerals you're trying to get from your food, and then you're going to poop it out, right? So you're gonna poop out this anti-nutrient. Oxalates don't do that. They build up and build up and frack you up and frack you up and damage you and damage you and damage you and damage you until it's like you're having so many little, so many elements that aren't killing you. Well, actually it can kill you, but because uh, people develop autoimmunity that they die from. But things like dark chocolate, dark chocolate, um, what else? I'm going to go through the list of high oxalate foods. So we have sweet potato, which is, we love our beloved sweet potato for those doing low carb, high fat or paleo, because there's a lot of fiber in sweet potato, which makes it a low glycemic plant. You take up the components of the actual 
uh, potato meat and then you take the fiber and if there's a lot of fiber there's less of the starch so it's a low glycemic carbohydrate but it's a very high oxalate rich food which the potato family itself is a very high oxalate food now there are other things that we don't have pictures for but there's things like cinnamon turmeric our beloved turmeric uh okay so it's cinnamon cinnamon turmeric um it's all oh, the dark leafy greens like swiss chard there's uh berries that you wouldn't consider so there's um um blueberries all types of berries this is for low carb people there's berries there's um what else it can deposit into the tendons and also our beloved um, collagen powder because oxalate buildup loves to be in the connective tissues of us and animals. Um, it's in, let me see here, I'm trying to see if I remember the list. Okay, so spinach, chocolate, sweet potatoes, potatoes, almonds, all a lot of the nut family, high in almonds, very, very high. Um, star fruit, kiwi. It's very, very high in kiwi. So if you actually get a burning sensation, you think it's, oh, it's very sour. No, that's the oxalate crystals literally damaging the tongue just from eating a kiwi. Um, let me see, berries, blueberries, wheat. Yes, for you family members that are still eating a uh, standard American diet, because like normally like, one person's doing carnivore, one person's doing keto, and um, the rest of their family are still eating these carbohydrates then you have to understand that wheat is also high, very, very high in oxalates. Peanuts are another thing that are very, 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 very high in oxalates. So a lot of you guys are still consuming food that appears to be keto omnivore friendly, but it's not. And then we have the problem with you going carnivore and that a lot of you guys have a dumping reaction. So when you just cold turkey stop eating these high oxalate rich foods, then you start dumping and you start to have severe flare ups. So it'll be on the jawline, it can be in the skin, it can come in the form of psoriasis, eczema, it can go uh, your urethra. So let's go through just some of the symptoms that people are just walking around with. And then also the dumping effect to, uh, to go from omnivore to carnivore. So for example, there's this woman in my gym who has uh, fibromyalgia. Now she will not listen to me. She is stubborn, ignorant, and it's like, I'm not gonna give up my toast in the morning. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm like, go ahead, you're the one who's sick, who had to, she had her own, she was an esthetician. She had to, hey guys, um, she had to, I'm starting to see the, con hey, vegan deterioration. I ate so much of all of this stuff when I was a vegan, even turmeric supplements. Exactly, right? So plants do have healing properties in small doses, here and there right? But not all the time. Like this whole celery juice thing is so stupid because celery is high in oxalates. Um, so I can't see the chat right now, but I will see it in a second because the screen has all the graphics and all this stuff. But uh, beets, yes, beets are high in oxalates, but people don't typically eat beets on keto because they tend to be higher in carbohydrate. But with that said, uh, I think winter squash does as well. Um, the problem is, is the things, the symptoms, okay, so this, sorry, the fibromyalgia woman. So there's a, um, the green smoothie. So I'm going to go into this. Let's keep it there for a second. So this woman at my gym, she's older. She's probably like 60, but you know, I'm 52 going on 53. So she's not that much older. She looks like my mom, but you know, people don't listen. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway, she, um, I was like, get off the wheat, get off the wheat, get off the wheat. But I didn't understand how much oxalates create autoimmunity. They can proliferate like needles and shards all the way to the cell, through the cell membrane, into the cell, damaging your mitochondria, right? Completely damaging it. So, uh, you know, they, they can go, they start off, you eat it, it goes to your stomach and start damaging your stomach lining. And then it goes down to the small intestine, which you guys with leaky gut, I, you're thinking it's just other things like antibiotics? No, it's, and wheat, 
which I thought are cross, cross reactivity foods like cheese, but no, nah, it's actually just the oxalates themselves, even if you had spinach, can go and start, because we have these, these onulins, these tight junctions of your small intestinal wall, and then the oxalates and spinach will poke holes, not only open up those junk, junk junctions and make them gapped junctions, but also start to poke holes through the small intestinal wall which is damaging, which is catering to all the autoimmunity and the histamine and the response that people are having. So it goes, uh, you eat it. Yeah. Um, it goes to your, through, to your stomach. Then it goes, travels through the blood. It's swimming. It's like, Ooh, what kind of damage can we do? Right? So it's going to the liver. Then it's going to the lungs. It can go to the brain, to the heart. So I actually think it goes liver, heart, lungs, brain. It starts to deposit in your joints, your connective tissues and your tendons. It gets in your, it can create liver lesions. It gets into your thyroid. So, um, a lot of people believe that these crystals are, are damaging the, the thyroid gland, right? It's a butterfly shaped. It's damaging the ability to be able to produce thyroid hormone, like T4 into T3, reverse T3, basically your T3. And um, it makes you uh, mineral deficient because oxalates like to bind to calcium and bind to magnesium and bind to your potassium. And like, I'm like, whoa, I'm eating a lot of oxalate rich foods like spinach, well, just spinach really, uh, like spinach on a ketogenic protocol and parsley for years. And then I'm trying to get my minerals, not under, understanding that uh, the spinach itself, the calcium in it, the potassium in it is pretty much useless if you're eating high amounts of it due to the oxalate buildup because it, the oxalates bind to the minerals and then they get trapped, right? You don't absorb them. They can't travel through the cells because minerals are going to help your, uh, the cellular communication between each other. So heart right? Affecting the heart, affecting the lungs, affect, affecting your nervous system. And, uh, that's why all these things are so important to realize. Um, so, um, uh, 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 let me see. So they say that we, if we do have something like spinach, first of all, you have to boil it because frying it is not enough or steaming it. You have to boil it. Then you have to all the water that it's sitting in, you have to strain it out. So you have to press all the water out and then you have to either like oven cook it or fry it. And that still doesn't get out all the oxalates. So the green smoothies, people put almonds in there. They'll put berries in there. They'll put spinach in there. They'll put great leafy greens in that stuff. And it's so damaging beyond measure. So all the vegans that I know, and I've gotten a lot of people, I'm very, very proud that I've gotten four people who are like hardcore vegans. I've gotten them to stop just on giving them the proper information. Um, now there's a girl at uh, the ranch that I go to, cause you guys know, I just bought a horse and, um, she's a vegan. And I love this girl. Like she's amazing. She's, she's teaching me a lot, but she's a vegan. And, um, I see she's having like constant health issues. Yes. That's my boyfriend. That's the horse I just got. His name is thunder. Although that's the name that the owner gave him. And I'm thinking of changing it to make him my, but I like the name thunder too. So, but anyway, let's go back to the oxalate images. All right. So, um, 32 people. I'm still tripping on how I went from 200 people down to 32 because people aren't getting their notifications. 54. Oh, oh. oh, it's the likes. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. So fibromyalgia now fibromyalgia is like, so the thing about oxalates is that they can mimic other issues. Like people, women who think they have UTIs, urinary tract infections, they actually might have oxalate buildup in their vulva. They have itching pain. Um, they develop, you get a lot of oxalate deposits in the urine, the bladder, sorry, the bladder. Um, so this woman at my gym, I was explaining before that she has fibromyalgia 
and then she developed kidney stones. And I didn't think about it at the time that that was a direct connection from her fibromyalgia and her kidneys because the oxalates are damaging tissue. So that's where they're starting to think that oxalate buildup could be a big, a big, huge, um, um, one of the main reasons why people develop fibromyalgia because it's getting into the connective tissues, the muscles, and damages your, your mitochondria and damages your DNA. And so I didn't put together those two that I bet if you go and have somebody who has fibromyalgia go and do a, an ultrasound of their kidneys, you're going to start to see crystals. I'm pretty sure because she had them. And now I'm like, oh, that's such the connection. Whoa, tripping. Now, um... Uh, 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 let me see. Now, some of the ways that they say to help dissolve the oxalates is by taking dietary calcium because uh, there's, there's calcium oxalate, right, where you develop these stones, but then there's actually dietary calcium, which helps to, it's, it sort of protects your, it's a protective factor in, um, in tissue being damaged with, with uh, eating calcium. So, what I suggest for people to do is take bones, which unfortunately they have oxalates in the bone marrow, but take like um, uh, uh, eggshells. So you have to wash the, the shell because that's where all the bacteria is. You take the shell and you can take a pill grinder or like one of those bullet grinders and grind it down to a powder and then you bake it over about four or five hours and dry it out and bake it. And that's, and you would just take a little bit of sprinkle and put it, if you, if for, for you guys who are doing carnivore or keto carnivore or omnivore, you would sprinkle it on your food to help, you know, dissolve and get down some of this oxalate buildup. Now, um, uh, so the amount of calcium that your body can, I mean, sorry, oxalates that your body can handle a day is eight spinach leaves. That's it, people. It's scary. So, um, I need to see more. Can you go down on this page to the right? This one over here or up to the top. Thank you. Um, now, um, a lot of you guys are doing almond flour. So almonds, so it's the almond flour. So all this keto garbage, faux keto stuff, it's almond flour, it's almond milk. People keep saying, can I drink almond milk? I'm like, no, because once you break down the structure of any of these high oxalate plants, like almonds, nuts, chocolate, sweet potato, spinach, cinnamon, even cinnamon because it's been crushed, then you're raising the level of oxalates. And these things will build up, like I said, in the joint, the connective tissue, the thyroid, the lungs, the heart, the brain, the eyes, the mouth, your vagina, your butthole, if you guys have burning, itchy butt. And a lot of you do because I've made kind of funny comments about that in other videos and people say, you know, on the DL, low key, my butt itches. So it's not just candida, it's also, it also can be a can uh, oxalate buildup. Um, so the, the conditions that people need to really look at is, um, the UTI factor, the itchy butt, the itchy eyes, the chronic itchy eyes. So we're also another thing that, that the problem is, is that some of the like fatty cuts of meat, let me stand over here, uh, fatty cuts of meat, uh, uh, or not the fatty cuts of meat, not the fat itself, but sometimes we're eating like, uh, the bone marrow, we're doing the bone broth. And these connective tissues, bones, some of these things have a lot of oxalates. So if you're doing like a lot of collagen powder, because oxalates like to go and deposit in the collagen of any mammal. And animals can, they know when to like stop eating. We don't. We're dumb idiots who make those smoothies. If you go back to the smoothie. So if you take a smoothie, we are, um, here we go. If I take this smoothie, we're taking a lot of plants and grinding it down into a liquid. So we're just, this has like the highest level of oxalate buildup in it. This is the worst. And what happens is, like I said, it's, it's damaging the gut wall, but it also damages this bacteria that's able to manage the oxalate buildup, right? Because if we have enzymes 
and we have bacteria, then we can keep things moving. Even though we're getting oxalates in the body, we can somehow uh, easily more get rid of the oxalates during the, let's say the winter months when we're not supposed to be eating so much vegetables and um, the, the, um, the high oxalate foods like uh, the, hello, fall and winter. And uh, so, but we don't, we just go and smooth, put in a smoothie and we're like, oh my God, it's green jink. It's like, it's got antioxidants in it. No, it doesn't. Anyway, I digress. It does, but it doesn't have like all these things. You got to, guys under, under, got to understand, you can't unlock the iron and the calcium and spinach because of the oxalates and the phytates. And so some of these plants have the nutrients, but you can't get them. Mother nature is smarter than us dum-dums. Like it knows, oh, you, it teases us. Y'all want some of this? Y'all need some minerals? psych <laughs> it just does that so we have to be very very careful careful now me finding out that i had kidney crystals it made it very easy to do carnivore for almost a year so now the only thing that i do right now is eat avocado for the potassium and i have explained this before because when you do keto for 12 years as long as i have then your electrolyte balance can get like this and um, your water, carbohydrate, the water, the, the cells swell with water, with carbohydrates. And when you don't eat them, your cells aren't swollen with water, which means they're holding on to your minerals uh, less, which is not a bad thing. It's just that I'm chronically keto. So it's very important that I get on my magnesium, my potassium, and my sodium beyond measure. So that is the reason why I started eating avocado again, because uh, lean meats weren't enough for me who's been on keto for 12 years. Now for you guys who've done it for a couple months, you're fine. For me, 12 years must get that potassium in. Or you could take potassium citrate, but I'm trying to get it from food rather than having to take supplements. Now supplements have their place, like you have to take magnesium, but I try to get everything from real food instead of like going towards the supplements first. Now, um, so animals, unfortunately, like the horses that I've been seeing, they all fart and run. Now, all the people that own these horses, when they run, they're like, I mean, gnarly farts. They kick buck. They're excited and they fart. <laughs> Greek guy's laughing. <laughs> you know that, right? Uh, yeah. He went riding with me. I think. I'm sorry, you? but I imagined like a, a horse farting and like pew. Oh no! I am going to. I am going to do a I video. Know. I'm going to yeah. do a video of like a compilation of all the horses that fart because mm. it's the weirdest thing. Now everybody laughs at it. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they all do. Except part of the reasons why I bought my horse, people don't know this, is because he doesn't fart. And you know why he doesn't fart? It's because he hasn't had a lot of antibiotics at all. Now, most hor horses are given a lot of antibiotics because they cut them. When you take a wild animal and you stick it in a little box, these things are supposed to, you know, run 15 kilometers a day or 30 miles a day. And you can leave it on the chat. Nice. Heather, you better get rid of that smoothie because you're really hurting your body. I'm not, I'm not lying, but I'm going to go through the comments in a, sec a second. So the horses are farting and I know immediately that they've got a gut dysbiosis. Now you take a wild horse and you put them in a stall. They run 15, 30 miles a day, water, food, they're moving. Now they know how to foul their hoofs down, their body, their stomachs, you know, everybody know every, everybody, all of them know how to adapt to nature, but you put a horse domesticated, put it in a little tiny box issues. They cut themselves on the wall. They crib, they wave, they knock each other. They, you know, and then they, they can, if they have shoes on and you've got shoes on a, on the back feet of a horse and there's like a bunch of horses turned out, one can kick the other and cut it. So these, they put two thoroughbreds out, like a new one. And then an old, like one that's already, already at the stables and they put them out both to like have fun. And they were this one keeps kicking. So the other thoroughbred had four cuts bleeding all over him. So what do people do? They give them antibiotics. What do they do? If there's a cyst in the hoof, they give them antibiotics. They give antibiotics like Tic Tacs. And there was like a vet tech assistant and she was telling this one girl who had a uh, cyst on the hoof, oh, just give him some antibiotics. And inside my head, I was screaming like, don't listen to her. Don't. And when the woman left, I said, you really shouldn't do that. You know, you really want to protect his gut. She's like, trust me, I already was like, I'm not going to give him antibiotics for a cyst in his hoof. It bursted. It's gone. It's fine now. So, um, they have screaming high cholesterol. I haven't eaten red meat. Okay. 
Heather, you in the right spot. I'm going to, I'm going to get into this in a very couple seconds here. So the point is, is that these horses and these cows are given antibiotics. So, and then they're just constantly grazing, but they're not moving around, right? So a lot of these animals have oxalate buildup in their connective tissue. So hence the whole collagen and bone broth. And that's the reason why I stopped. What's well, one of the two reasons? One, because of the glutamate and bone marrow and also uh, in, the, in the collagen and also because the oxalate buildup in the tendons and in the joints. Okay. Now, Robert, people who go to carnivore, that's not always the smart thing. I don't think that everybody should do carnivore, a keto carnivore, because number one, it should be keto first. Number two, they could start dumping oxalates too quickly, going from one extreme to the next. You have to graduate yourself, same thing that I do with people on low carb, high fat, graduate yourself into ketosis. And I also, because when I first started coaching people years ago, you guys, I coach people, by the way, before I forget, and I'm just saying this before I forget, I do consultations. Okay. And I've been doing this for so long. People don't find me because for the longest, I didn't monetize my videos. I didn't, I wasn't driven by money. The YouTube is like that. So you can't see it because it has the text in the wrong color. Um, but, and you can barely see it there. <laughs> Actually, sorry, uh, the Greek guy, but people are complaining that they can't see this, these things. So it's almost like we should put them big and then take them away and put them in and out. So if you guys can see for a second, oops, come over here. So, um, yeah, so I have a Facebook, uh, Facebook, it's called Stephanie business person. That's free content. My Instagram is Stephanie ketogenic. I'm saying this now before I forget. So you guys can read it, spell it and find it. That's why I'm doing it. Chill people on the replay chill. Um, and then so we can I get, that no, we can, now. yeah, I, I would take it out. yeah. And then down here is where, if you want to book a consultation or, um, I have a keto course and I also do keto low carbs. Like today, uh, I did a course lesson about the 24 hour digestion, like how long food stays in the stomach, what it does to you, what time do you eat, how much. And that's what today's course lesson was. So the Greek guy doesn't know I was writing the course lesson a few hours today, plus doing research on oxalate buildup. Plus I ran off to the to the freaking ranch and rode off in the tundra forever. Then I came home, took a shower before going to the gym because I, I was so dirty. And then I rode my bike to liberate tonight. That's my life. Okay. And I was doing research on oxalates from the gym chair, doing leg extensions and sending it off to the Greek guy where he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're like, keep sending me stuff last minute. Okay. So, um, we also have to be careful for all this collagen nonsense and the bone broth, you know, f extravaganza. Um, now, uh, so cooking your veggies is not going to get rid of the oxalates. Now cooking your veggies might get rid of some of the other stuff and that's other videos, right? We got salicylates. We have oxalates, well, oxalates, goitrogens, which are in the cruciferous vegetables, which block iodine. So a lot of these plants will block minerals from getting into the body. Now I told you guys, I think last stream, I met my friend that I've known her for 33 years. She actually had been counting. I was like, has it been 33 years? Oh. That's crazy. I met her like maybe a week ago or 10 days ago. We actually met here at Liberate because it's a really cool place. They've got like a little area and like you can sit and have tea and all this stuff, which have tannins, which demineralize you, but I digress. I had water like this right now. Not our tea. Yep, your tea too. Um, so um, <clears throat> we met, now you guys listen to this. This is very important for all you for uh, 61 people. Listen to this. this is very, very important. We were talking and she said she had two major health problems. Now she's one year younger than me. I'm 52 going on 53, 12 years strict keto with no free refeeds of any of this nonsense. But, um, she told me that she had a, she had, um, a uh, heart valve issue, number one. And number two, she had a stroke. And the doctors were like, your magnesium is so low, okay, that that's what made her have this stroke. And I said, do you think that this large aorta valve 
is also due to the magnesium deficiency? And she's like, I think so. So not getting supplemental magnesium for anybody on any diet because our soil is so depleted from magnesium and you can't get it from meat like you need to. Yo, people, I literally sat there and I was like, I'm so glad that I take my magnesium every day because I didn't for years because I didn't know any better. Now I'm just so grateful because that scared the crap out of me that she had a stroke. Remember, cells communicate with each other and things are affected. The heart is affected by a lack of your electrolytes. Potassium, magnesium, and sodium especially. It's scary. If your potassium, sodium is not in balance, how you can have heart issues or magnesium without uh, not having enough magnesium and develop heart issues. So you guys, please take magnesium on whatever diet that you are on, magne magnesium glycinate. The Greek guy wants to spell it out. You want me to spell it for you? No. Magnesium glycinate. Yeah. yeah. What glycinate? Can you write it in the chat? Uh, okay. I will try. <laughs> what? It's uh. G-L-Y-C-I-N-A-T-E. G-L-Y. Uh, nope. No, <laughs> you put C-L. G-L-Y. Oh. It's still smelling it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. G L Y. He's Greek. He he gets a pass on this, right? Okay. Because we had a discussion. Came to my place the other day. Ta-da! We had a discussion because um, Greek guy is very smart. He's very he is. He's a very very smart guy. He can be really dumb with some small things, but like basically, generally, to the from human to human, he's exceptionally very smart guy. Um, but you know, he speaks like a bunch of languages, so if he spells it wrong, he gets a pass on this. All right. Um, let me see. So let's go through. Yes, I have meal. Uh, no, I'm gonna do. I don't have a meal plan on low oxalates, but he came over to my house. We put together a, a new format to rewrite in all of my update all of my, now my meal plans right now are really, really good. Um, they are really good, but I'm going to bring all these new things and add to my meal plans and add some more meal plans. Now, the best low, um, oxalate diet you could do is carnivore keto, of course. Um, all right, let's go to the top, the top. Blah, blah. Can I speak today? Probably not. <laughs> All right, let me see. Too many plants don't help anything. Thomas, whoever, just uploaded a video where he is all, what, stuffed up and sick again. Those plants, man. Oh, yes. Thank you. So Thomas D, he's all, and you know what? I don't know if he knows about this stuff, but he's got like 5 billion more, more subscribers and people watching him than I do um, because I don't promote weight loss. Okay. All right, um, he has some good information, but whatever. Okay, um, hi, Stephanie from Keep It Calm. Wait, Keep Calm, and I'm Fabulous. Uh, she said, Mihalas. That's her name. Keep Calm, I'm Fabulous. She made a lot of comments. There's vegan deterioration. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see anybody's comments until now. It's because we have all this stuff across the screen. I never had style problems until I went carnivore. Did she say style? Until I went carnivore. <laughs> I'm certain it's due to oxalate dumping. Style? Sty. Oh, sty. There's no L. Oh, she has styes in her eyes. Yeah, the, the oxide buildup in the eye. My bad. I'm the dumb one now. Beats. Okay. Jessica Torres says beats. Uh, Abyss says, Tor Jessica Torres, can I, can I take a while to clear? I cleared up gallbladder. Let me see. Blockage stones after three years on keto carnivore. Awesome. Robert Smith says, hello, vegan to the She's I to okay, write this. Um, I hope she's still here by the way, but probably not. Tears on carnivore. I hope the styes don't last too much longer. Okay. Uh, why is there a sweet potato on the screen? Because sweet potatoes are for people who do low carb, high fat. And I also coach people who don't go full keto because people who are doing low carb, and they use sweet potatoes and I have, I'm having it there because people will use sweet potatoes before going full keto. Hope that makes sense as their low glycemic starch. 
Why? A beast. Robert Smith. It's a meat-based sweet potato. Beyond potato. Like the beyond meat. Oh yeah, it's beyond. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a meat to potato, exactly. Okay, explains why pineapple used to make my lips bleed. Yeah. Enzymes, yes, happened to me with kiwi. Yes, kiwi makes your mouth friggin'. It's like, and they're micro crystals. Like, it's hard to see them under a microscope. You have to know what you're looking for. And uh, how you, you get rid of the oxalates is you go down slowly. Like you start taking out those things slowly because sometimes if you've been really eating a lot of high oxalate, oxalate rich foods, now, not everybody has a dumping reaction, but most people do. Um, you want to graduate yourself slowly down off of it. Um, let me see. This is so eye-opening. Good. XX. What is it? Hinnut? Hinnut? Um, Kim Davis says, smart woman, you are Steph. Thank you, Kim Davis. Explain so much of this shite was dealing with while wow, being a vegan. Exactly. I'd rather just even touch that stuff not touch that stuff at this point. Now they say that you can have things here and there, but you guys know I'm over it all. I'm in my fifties. I want to keep a healthy body because that stuff gets everywhere into your connective tissue, your reproductive system. It gets in every part of your body and it does damage. I meant typo don't change his name. Oh, you don't want me to change his name? Oh, you love thunder. Seems like everybody loves thunder, but I'm not really loving the the ex-owner of them right now, so I guess I'm biased. Um, I got uh, an iguana from someone last year. His name was Lizardin. <laughs> My son came up with that. That's a cute name. But I don't know what to call this. Um, so Paul Saladino just put up a video citing three studies that claim vegetables are actually harmful, wicked stuff, people. I need to go watch it because Paul Saladino is doing... Paul Saladino is a really very smart guy. He's not as smart as I am when it comes to the keto stuff. But I mean, that's just, just, that's just facts because we've been doing it for so long. Um, and, and we know we can't fight the facts. Well, no, I mean, when you work with people, you can say, oh, you know, 2000 people did this. Here were the results of my study. He doesn't have that. I do. Mm, He's not, no. his EQ is not, my IQ is not smarter than him, but my knowledge of keto, I am smarter. Uh, plus he's doing carnivore now. So no salads. Um, things like uh, romaine lettuce and iceberg, they're pretty low in oxalates. You know, cucumber, but cucumber, it does have a lot of fiber, so it can actually spike your, your blood sugar if it's too high and block your keto adaptation. I drink smoothies every two days and I prefer green. So that's disgusting, and I hope you're still here, Heather. Um, I drink smoothies. Oh, I read that. Okay. Ooh, girl. <laughs> what if you cook the leaf? Nope. Has to boil it and strain out the water, and that's still not enough. Can we get an up what and uploaded what I eat in a day video, carnivore style? Yeah, eat apple high quality for what? No, no, we no we what? High quality fat and meat instead of the leaf. If you're doing carbs, which I don't, is potassium potassium toxic in supplement form? Yes, potassium chloride. So you want to get potassium citrate, but. You know, I have extremely high cholesterol. I have eaten, eaten was, I, I haven't eaten. So this whole cholesterol thing, child, I have high cholesterol. If I eat a stick of butter and my cholesterol is high, it's because of what I ate. Um, the cholesterol numbers are just stupid, all of them. The HDL, the triglycerides, all of them. If you're really afraid that you're developing heart disease, go get, go get a calcium score and check how much calcium deposits you have and calcium is in the blood. And then also check your... your um, your uh, blood pressure because if it's high clearly you're having issues with your your uh, arterial wall or you can go because there's only three labs in the united states that do an ldl small particle b test so go by your symptoms and stop going by these stupid cholesterol panels yes and go do a ekg once do an EKG or go get an MRI, and if you're really scared, go get an, a radiation dosage of a CT scan because that'll show you if you have any like calcium deposits in the heart uh, or placking. Too many, I need to lose 30 pounds. Let me see. Try carnivore. Keep going. Robert's like try carnivore, but be careful with trying carnivore. You need to help. You need help, Heather. I do consultations, Heather, so you might want to go and learn how to do things because I go through people's entire day, their entire life, and I don't just talk about the diet. It's everything: your lifestyle, the time you go to bed, circadian rhythm, the gut health, the history of your health, everything. And then at towards the end, we put together a dietary protocol with the lifestyle protocol. That reminds me that we have to do the second part of my yeah. We're gonna do that tonight. Uh, 
We're not, we, we, can, we could do live and put it on private and then yeah. let it go tomorrow. Let's talk after. Okay. Okay. Have lots of high quality fat, moderate protein, and you will be prevail. She, Abyss is right. Um, I used to overeat red meat. You, there's no such thing unless it's from sick cows. Uh, right, because I've been watching this keto world on YouTube a year and just found you two weeks ago. And I've been doing this before everybody. The only people that were around before me was Jimmy Moore, um, Nora Gagoudis, just Stephen and Jeff Volick. The rest of them came after me and people aren't, and I never stopped talking about keto all these years. Uh, let's see here. Thoughts on what? Counting, counting ca calories. Oh, he, he spelt it really weird. I'm like, am I reading this wrong? No, you don't need to count calories. Uh, fat loss and all this stuff has to do with your hormones. It's about your insulin, right? Your insulin sensitivity or your insulin resistance. It's about your estrogen and it's about like sleep and blood sugar and your A1C, is insulin number, like it's all that. Basically, it's what you eat, not how much you eat. <laughs> it's what you eat and then like your lifestyle. Yeah, because... Because your hormones. I, even if I eat uh, like a, a hamburger... Uh, a hamburger? Each, yeah, a, a hamburger. hamburger. A hamburger uh, each day. Yeah. It's a small amount of food. I will lose weight. But the damage no, that no, I will do... No, you're wrong. You're my... wrong, honey child. Because there are women with a thyroid disorder and their T3 is low and they eat 500 calories and don't lose any weight. And I get a lot of clients like that. Oh, Okay. It's your hormones. If your estrogen is high, if your fat cells are, are mm -hmm. um, sorry, I'm looking over there. Um, if your fat cells are uh, inefficient, which they just, you can't access your fat cells. You can't access the... <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Um, if you have inefficient fat cells, if you're aromatizing your bodies, your estradiol is too high and it's just pumping out and making more fat cells and storing more fat. I don't care how little calories, because if you have high stress, you're on birth control pills, you know, you drink alcohol, all this kind of stuff. Uh, no, you're not going to lose any weight, bruh. You can lose muscle. Um, you said there too much protein isn't going to do you any favors. Nope, because that is going to turn into excess glucose. And because she hasn't eaten meat in for so long and probably has hypochlorhydria, she's going to be eating chicken breasts and lean meats, which is not ketotic, which shoot her blood sugar up. Let me see, right, because I've been watching this. Well, okay, I read that. Um, thoughts on, okay, I read that. Uh, Ramha? Mitra? Don't worry about the veggies so much conquering or, uh, what? He's writing it weird. Concentrating? Concentrate. Concentrate. On high okay. Concentrate on high quality fats. That's how he's speaking. This that thoughts on counting. Okay, he's running it weird. Concentrate. Okay. Uh, which high quality fats? So the high quality fats would come from animal fats. So that's butter. If you have a uh, if you have a leaky gut and you develop histamine response to butter, then you would do things like lard. And if you have this freak out scare of lard, you can go to tallow and all different types of tallow. Now, it is possible that you can do um, monounsaturated fats like avocado oil, but I really prefer the animal fats because that's when people produce the most ketones. ketones. Uh, do I have male plants on oxide? Okay, right. Hey, Steph, can you go over perimenopause, please, right now? Yes, hot flashes, please. Uh, okay, so I'll just say it very quickly. Um, a lot of you guys, all this stuff I'm talking about is connected because the whole body's connected. A lot of women are developing hot flashes because their estrogen is super, super high, or their sex hormones are really low, or their adrenals aren't functioning properly, so they're the size of green peas inside the body under the rib cage, and they will uh, still produce hormones much less, but if you're drinking coffee and not sleeping and stress all the time, that means you're in the fight or flight mode all the time, the adrenal gland, and then women, when their, their hormones drop or post-menopause when all their hormones go to nowhere and they're just producing estradiol in the fat cells, they start flashing. Sometimes it's due to mineral deficiencies, so like your electrolytes. So often if women just take magnesium, their hot flashes will subside uh, exponentially or, or completely go away. So that's something to think about. Um, let me see. I take mega food magnesium. Um, yeah, but I realize I love mega food. They're a great company, but the levels of magnesium are really low. So you might want to do a transdermal magnesium with that. What are you doing? Yeah. The 
it jumped me down because okay, is it is citrate okay uh citrate you mean citrus uh i can't do the other ones haven't had magnesium magnesium citrate in a year what i twitching muscle again okay makeup she, this, the makeup, I love you, but you've been saying, I'm going to do a consultation. Join the course page at least because I can't answer these questions. She always asks the most complicated questions and won't join the course. It's $15 for a month. That's nothing. And I like work my butt off on it. Uh, let me see. Hi from Galveston, Texas. What potassium supplements? Uh, only citrate. I guess that's what she meant. Magnesium citrate helps with uh, with a uh, number of pooping. Magnesium citrate, yes. Um, hi all, I hope everyone is well. I'm loving the information, good. Here, yeah, hi yes, I cut out all the oxalate food map, food map, map, FODMAP, my bad. And nightshades, as, nightshades are another thing. For y'all women who get all these, I th I'd say that 75 to 80% of all the women that I do consultations with have some issue with their thyroid to some varying degree and adrenal uh, overload and sex hormones. Do you know of a lab in the United States? I think it's the um, uh, calc. Oh, I don't know. That I don't know. Sorry. Would you avoid black beans? Yes, honey. Get rid no, child. Billy, sorry, no. Billy Sunday, no beans. Um, keep going. Oh. Hi, yes, cut out all oxalates, FODMAP, nightshades as someone with gut issues. It helps. I read that. Yes. Well, not all of it. Thoughts on bell peppers? No. They, they're just too high in, in, in glucose anyway for keto, so no. Uh, blood pressure is perfect, but my mom's having blood pressure problems. That has nothing to do with you. It just doesn't. I did my blood work, and the doc said it's bad cholesterol. The, your, your doctor is an idiot. It's embarrassing. This is not a cardiologist. They don't know anything about cholesterol. They don't know anything about food. They don't understand that cholesterol is an antioxidant. It's one of the best things in the body, and that your body makes 75% of all the cholesterol. So don't listen to your doctor because... If uh, high cholesterol gives you heart damage, why is my blood pressure perfect? And why is my health perfect? You guys have seen me in a sports, stupid sports bra for, I don't know, 10 years on YouTube. And I look younger now than I did when you look at my older videos. I look like crap. <laughs> Plus I was doing keto wrong. Uh, would you avoid, I already read that. I've got adrenal fatigue, PCOS, high blood pressure, and all tests uh, say I'm fine. Would carnivore help keto start? Yes. Um, Emily, I really suggest a, a, a um, consultation because you can't just do keto carnivore. You've got to know how to do it. And you've got all these issues with your blood pressure, and it can make it worse if you do it the wrong way. Just eating a bunch of meat and a fat too low can create stress on the body, which can raise your blood pressure. Do you have time to take a thyroid medication? Wait, do you have time to take thyroid medication? Thank you, Jackie, for the, the, the comments on the, um, which I kind of knew because I hadn't monetized uh, for the comments in the comment section about uh, why my 100,000 subscribers are not getting the notifications when I go live. Do you have to take thyroid medication? The good doc said that would be, you said you would die if that's the biggest lie. Most people toss their thyroid medication. Thyroid medications, most of them, especially synthetic ones like, like uh, levothyroxine and Synthroid, what they do is people feel good in the beginning because their body's getting like this synthetic T3. Can we get rid of that? Because we ain't talking about what it is. No. Huh? Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do another. Because I'm talking. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Then um, go please into the middle of the screen. I like being on the side. We, we, we argue about this kind of stuff. I don't like being on the middle. You, you guys, I was a photographer for 20, year, 20, 20 something years. I never shot people in the middle. It's just weird for me. Um, do you mean I don't? Did you say they take thyroid medication? Doctor said, no. Most people get rid of their thyroid medication. Your body stops uh, making its own. It's, the thing is the same thing with taking, like, you know, for men, guys to grow muscle, when you start taking things from the outside of the body, the inside of the body, they have to do with the endocrine system, your own natural production of any hormone goes down. So if you're already struggling to make T3, it goes away when you're taking exogenous T3. So it's better to go down the rabbit's hole, find out how you developed any type of hypo, hyper, hashi, thyroid symptoms, as long as you still have it, it hasn't been radiated, your parathyroid hasn't been touched, you can go ahead and fix your thyroid and get off all the stupid medication. No, you won't die with thyroid medication. Lots of people go off of it because they're afraid of their endocrine system getting fracked even more, and plus it's hard on the kidney and liver. Can I talk fast? Yes, I can. Okay, what's causing puffy upper eyelid corner? Noticed it more. I'm 55 on keto. Sugar's 99 because your sugars are too high, and you're on metformin. Do you have PCOS? Why are you on, why do you why are you on metformin? Are you diabetic? Okay, 
what 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 are you doing because exactly. when you do that you're freaking my eyes out you look amazing you're a for your ears i'm sure you get that a lot thank you uh heather well i work hard enough for it i mean i really do this is not genetics people i am meticulous at anything i feel like everything in life should be at the exact same um uh, level of importance, right? So if I get a horse, you guys see that I take a horse and make it like amazing, like a difficult horse and he's good. Cause I don't have time to deal with the difficult horse that can kill you. If I'm going to go to the gym, if I'm going to work with my mom, if I'm going to work with clients or my own body, I'm not messing around. Okay. What do you do if sex hormones are low and, and you're in menopause, protect your adrenal glands. So that's a lot of stuff. It's sleep, diaphragmatic breathing, it's exercising, it's de-stressing, it's getting out all the heavy metals out of your body. It's, um, if, if it's so many things. I, I mean, it's a million things. Okay. Um, let's see. Hi, Steph. Okay. Hey, Katie. Let's keep those comments good. Cause I want to play this video. We got a video guys. Don't go anywhere. Uh, 37 year old female, hundred pounds, four foot 10 keto carnivore for four months, beef, butter, egg yolks, only no sugar cravings, severe cravings for pickle juice. Uh, that's potassium and sour pickles. That's the thing. People on Keto Carnivore don't get their their electrolytes in. I need to do a friggin' video on live about that, which I might do from home. Let me see. Well, uh, what about people with damaged liver that cannot metabolize all the fat? Uh, you can heal the liver. So, you know, you work your fat the way up. Um, it's not that you metabolize it as your liver has a hard time to filtrate it when it's really thick, but you can still do it. There are people I do who do keto with, with fatty liver and they still can do it. Okay. I'm going to get the ancestral thyroid gland. Thanks, Steph. Yes. Boom. Speaking of that, I am sponsored and it's the only sponsored people are like, Oh my God, you're pushing supplements. No, I'm not. They are freeze dried, desiccated, grinded into a pill, grass fed, head, brain, freaking tongue, thyroid, adrenal, spleen, thymus, adrenal glands, uh, gonads, like they do everything. So their branding then it's uh, wrong because supplements, they're not supplements, they are basically food in a pill. Well, supplements meaning I'm supplementing, yeah. I'm getting, you know, things Definitely. like, because yeah. the thing with oxalates, another thing is it damages your ability to take in B, B1 and B6. So this has a lot to do with your total health. So I'm starting to think like all the thyroid sufferers and people with fibromyalgia and autoimmunity and all this kind of stuff and poor gut healing. Like you have to consider everything you stick in your mouth and on your skin. I'm going to get, okay. Say, did you say that magnesium glycinate or citrate glycinate? Thanks. P.S. Great interview with Mike. Thank you. You approached it so professionally considering you have differing opinions. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> well, I love Mike. Mike is, first of all, Mike's a sweetheart. His wife is a sweetheart and they're both very, very, very intelligent. And I'm like, I can go to his channel for like learning things. Like he interviewed this woman, forgot her name about the gut and, and candida and bacteria and, and parasites. And I was like, this is a genius interview. Everyone he talks to, he knows already the subject. So, but Mike and his wife are really loving the whole intermittent fasting. And you know, they're, they're younger than I am. You know, they've been in this game of experimenting on their body. I've been, well, he's been experimenting, but I mean like with these types of trends, with the biohacking, I've done it longer and I'm older. So I feel like, and I've worked with a lot more people than them both over the years. Um, so I have their um, health and history and situational things to, uh, to formulate my opinions on when it comes to intermittent fasting. You know, I, I can intermittent fast, but when I put my clients on it, their hair starts falling out. They start to have hypoglycemia. They start to have their menstrual cycle either goes away. They start bleeding too much and men's testosterone numbers drop. So, you know, that's a whole nother thing about how you fast and, you know, we fast when we sleep. So this whole crazy and people fast to lose weight. Let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it real. Did you say, okay. Uh, yep. Type two diabetes. A1C went from 6.8 to 5. 5.6, which is great since keto is still working on it. Uh, Sakaro, you can definitely, Feliciano, you definitely can get your A1C even sh down further. You've got to make more changes. I'm glad that you went from a 6.8 to 5.6, but you still are in the danger zone at a 5.6. Not like for neuropathy, which also oxalates do. They give you the neuropathy sy symptoms, all kind of stuff. Okay. Bovine. Oh, and they, if you're trying to take organ meats and you're trying to do spinach, then they don't allow, um, 
biotin, right, from the egg yolks and stuff like that, it gets like your, your body's not allowed to uptake the biotin. Okay, bovine adrenal cortex is helping to stop inflammatory epilepsy from two-year-old daughter, modified fruit, pectin, and enzymes are an amazing tool. So plant pectins can be good. I wouldn't go overboard on them, but plant pectins help to like de-junk the liver, which is really, really great, which is why people like to use apple cider vinegar and lemon water on the liver. Hi, just joined. Hey, Half Moon Bay. I love Half Moon Bay. Oh my God. Okay, what is tomatoes or just uh, de-seed and skin? No, just don't rumble. I mean, it depends on what type of issues you have, but you're still gonna have issues with lectins in, uh, and nightshades in the meat, just not as much as the skin and seeds. Okay, just tweak that one thing, stop intermittent fasting and lost 15 pounds and thyroid happy. You see what Jackie just said? She said she quit the intermittent fasting, which totally irritates the thyroid, and she, um, and she lost 15 pounds not fasting. You know, so it's just the same thing I was trying to tell to the Greek guy. It's not calories in, calories out, because if you got a thyroid issue, which most men don't have, they, they can, but most men don't develop hypothyroidism because they don't have the estrogen dominance and women have three days and one because we are more, um, oxytocin driven and men are more vasopressin driven. But with that said, um, you have, you have so many women who eat under a thousand calories. They still fat. They still have 30% body fat. They just lose their muscle and their immune system goes to crap. Uh, what plants are safe to eat, if any? Well, on keto, it would be the, of the cruciferous family, which also can block iodine from the thyroid. So um, I would say cauliflower is a really good one. Cauliflower, um, cabbage, a little bit of broccoli. Um, mushrooms, if you don't have a um, dysbiotic gut with a lot of uh, candida. Maybe green beans. There you go. Uh, Yeepers, happy dance. Happy dance. Histamine like spinach. Yes. Wait, no biotin, which is I take every day. No, I didn't say not take biotin. I said oxalates. Chocolate, spinach, sweet potato, cinnamon, turmeric. All of these things rob you of the biotin is what I was saying. Hit the like button. Thank you. Sakaro says Feliciano because I forget to say that. And we got 63 people in the chat and 50, 63 people. At least it's going up, right? It was yep. like 40 before. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, guys? I have to monetize my videos so YouTube can make the money. Um, you, YouTube can make the money and um, and promote my video. I was trying to spare you guys of done dumb ads, but oh well. Uh, I unintentionally intermittent fast as I'm not hungry after my big meal, 3 p.m. Don't eat a big meal at 3 p.m. I would not do that, Sarah. Sarah, I would definitely eat at breakfast because that's going to help the communication of medulla, the hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal, and thyroid axis, and keep your fight or flight adrenal system not freaking out. So don't do that. Okay, so you don't count calories. No, you don't need to count calories. I mean, if look, I eat a block of Kerrygold, block of butter a day, which is 237 grams of fat, which is almost 2,000 calories just from that. That's not including any vegetables, which I'm not eating really right now, but the avocado, I eat a whole avocado a day, which is uh, it's 28 grams per avocado, plus the meat fat. Plus if I eat a couple tablespoons of lard, because I like to do that, I mean, um, uh, bison tallow. Let um, me see, it's, it's a lot of calories. I'm, I'm up there towards like 2,700 a day easily. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Uh, yes, I saw the first commercial today during the mic interview. Yes, saw the first commercial today. Oh, because <laughs> oh, because my uh, because um, the Greek guys like Stephanie monetize your videos. He turned on the the uh, the money the monetization, but I have to do it too. I just forget to do it sometimes. So thank you, Greek guy. <laughs> um, let me see. Yes, I saw the first commercial. Okay, I eat cabbage and cauliflower. Good. Glad to see you again. Just trees and leaves. Uh oh, Chad, don't eat the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're overweight, how would you lose weight? You have to keto adapt because it's about your insulin being too high, right? If you're overweight, you, you probably have a high A1C, high insulin, and insulin is what makes you store fat, not the calories. But I hate to pr promote myself, but I'm um, look, you guys, a consultation or joining the course group is the best way to access me and so you can give me a little bit of a backstory because understanding a backstory will help me strategize what to do for the future. The advance notice worked great. Oh, the advance notice? 
our guest. Yeah, to the five minute advance notice. What we'd have. We need to do it like from the morning, but we're going to start doing it. I think we need to do it like uh, an hour or half an hour before we start. Okay. Because we can the, do two. I, I noticed that the, the can 40, be on camera? People, 40 people, be on camera. Uh, let me turn on the camera. So the 40 people, uh, Oops, sorry. Mm, the 40 people that came, came after 24 minutes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, in the beginning we have 13, then 20, but 24 minutes we had 40. And in about uh, He talks too long right now. Yeah, and okay. about an hour <laughs> later, uh, we had uh, the... Talk to the camera! I yeah. can see. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, okay. I can't keep calm, Malaka, I'm Greek. All right. Um, don't forget, you guys, to check out the Greek Guys channel at... Digital Pumpkin. Digital Pumpkin. <laughs> the Digital Pumpkin. Digital Pumpkin. Um, see, since I switched to carnivore, I don't crave any kinds of supplement for kinds of... Well, Half Moon Bay, you better get on that magnesium because you will have problems. Okay. So you got to crave something. Uh, let me see for the interview. Um, you are so appreciative. Appreciate it, Stephanie. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Romans. Nine versus one, two, thirty-three. Thank you. Uh, stuff with our, wait, suffered from arthritis more than 25 years now, no meds, worked uh, out every day, love it, right, Half Moon Bay? Y'all, keto carnivore is really great for people who've got um, arthritis. I'm stunning. There we go, that's better. Uh, let's see here. Then people can anticipate it as the dog is, I know. I guess the sign on the door isn't working. It's just like recording in session. Mm, let me shoot them. For a second. <laughs> talk, to, talk to the little puppies. Okay, do we more? Oh, wait. Can you do more with Mike Mutzel or uh, other keto YouTubers? Love these discussions. Yes, I have a recorded video with um, Dr. Ken Berry, and that will be released next. It takes a while because the Greek guy edits them. I noticed in my interviews, I was like, dude, you gotta cut that out. I, that's the reason why Mike looks funny. We did a split screen and he was talking and I didn't know, like, cause I'm a perfectionist, right? And I'm doing this the whole time. I was like, the Greek guy, I'm a bobblehead. Get rid of me, get rid of me. I do not want to, like people are gonna, oh no. See, Steph does have her insecurities. <laughs> um, let me see, can you, okay. Some people do a 30 minute premiere uh, post heads up on YouTube. Yeah, uh, got it. Thank you, Jackie says yes, yes to Half Moon Bay. Uh, you look great as always. Uh, thank you. Uh, is that it? Because I want to show this video. I love the puppies. I love puppies. You guys, I love animals. Um, and I love horses now. Um, let me see. Ken Berry is awesome. Yes, he's also a really sweet guy. Um, he's got like... We have his, uh, and we have his uh, interview coming up. Are you almost done editing it? Um, no. No, he hasn't touched but... it. Let's keep it real. I haven't touched You were supposed to put music in the beginning of Mike's. You, we needed to add music. <sighs> that anticipation mu music. Okay. After. We can do it after. Yeah. Together. Okay. Because it's cool. That's the whole point of doing that thing. It gets boring the way you do it. That's why Mike's channel is doing better than mine. Because, you know, listen to me. Well. Okay. Um, even at the, the live streams, I can put music if you want. No, for that video, because it's cool, it's anticipation. My daughter loves horses too, right, Half Moon Bay? They're so awesome. I guess you don't, though. <laughs> She's like, my daughter does. Um, okay, let's play this video, you guys. I want to play this before we leave this stream. You guys, stick around and watch this, all right, because I got a lot of my information from this video. Also, there's a woman, can you show my notes? There's a woman named Sarah, show it for a sec, the notes for a sec. Sarah, what the heck, Susan, something. I forget her name. Um. That reached her Sarah, and yeah. e, EO Nutrition, Elliot there. Let me Susan see. Owen. So, uh, Susan Owen. So Susan Owen and Elliot at EO Nutrition. Um, the video that we're going to play now, it's sick. Like, it's amazing. I love it. Love, love, love. I'm excited for your round table with Bart K. Oh, yeah, Mark. Yeah, I'm going on Saturday. We're going to, I was like, I was like, the Greek guy, my freaking Wi-Fi sucks at home. We need, we need, we need to make sure that I'm, if I'm doing a round table talk that I get good wife because Wi-Fi is better here, but I won't be able to be with my horse all day long. So that kind of pisses me off, but whatever. I was telling Bart, I was like, Bart, 
<laughs> Shall we play the video now? Uh, uh, Elena, you're, if he's got a high uric acid buildup, then yeah, he should do keto for sure. Watching. Okay, I'll be in my on my way. Okay, let's do this. Video. Horses in my neighborhood saw three fats. Okay. When I'm talking, when I'm talking about oxalic, about what this means is, 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 is oxalic is oxalic acid, acid is Listen, bound, bound very tightly, tightly with a certain, with a certain mineral. mineral. Okay. okay. You can think you can of oxalic, think of oxalic acid, acid by itself. It's very, very corrosive. corrosive. You can you use can oxalic, oxalic acid, acid to. to um, um, well, well it, yeah, it's a yeah, corrosive it's a organic, organic acid. acid. If you get it on your skin, it, your burns. skin it burns. It, 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 it causes, causes. It's got a very it's got high, toxicity high toxicity profile. profile. Uh, pound uh, by pound, pound, it's more toxic, more toxic than asbestos. Than asbestos okay? okay, so. so. Oxalic, oxalic acid, acid is used in chemistry, in chemistry and it is and known, it is as, known a very, as a very kind of, kind of well-established well toxin. toxin. But essentially, but essentially the, way the way that you find it predominantly in nature, nature is it's bound, bound with certain, certain minerals. minerals. One of, the, one of when I'm talking about oxalate, oxalate, what this means is, is oxalic is oxalic acid is bound very tightly with a certain mineral. Okay, you can think of oxalic acid by itself; it's very corrosive. You can use oxalic acid to. Well, it, yeah, it's a corrosive organic acid. If you get it on your skin, it burns. It, it, it causes, it's got a very high toxicity profile. Uh, pound by pound, it's more toxic than asbestos is, okay? So oxalic acid is used in chemistry and it is known as a very kind of well-established toxin. But essentially, the way that you find it predominantly in nature is it's bound with certain minerals. One of those is calcium. Another one is um, is uh Potassium, it's magnesium, it combined fault. with zinc, iron. Now, um, when it I is used him, actually he can't as a rust. He's... So you, you might use it to get rust off of off of metal because it, it binds before. very strongly with iron. Uh, it can you actually know what, you guys, we can put this um, in the show notes. rust from this whole, rusty old metal. Uh, that you can video. use it as a as a cleaning mm -hmm. agent, but essentially. When you find it in certain plants, it's going to be in different again? quantities. Like now, as I, oh, like I, I said before, it. it's found oh, throughout exactly. the That's whole fine. plant kingdom, Can but it's found us? in certain yeah. plants yeah. more than yeah. other plants. So there are certain food. plant families or certain types of plants, certain types of vegetable it, and fruit, well, which contain yeah. enormously okay. high they amounts can. of this. Now, it's theorized that this is potentially... Um, going to be employed as a defense mechanism by a plant. Me? And the reason for this is, is that when you find oxalate oxalate or oxalic acid bound with a cameras. mineral such as calcium oxalate what it does is it forms a very strong tight bond you can think of it like a magnet and the way that those crystals precipitate the, the mineral crystals is as very sharp spiky objects so you can get various shapes and sizes of oxalate crystals you can have um, very very small nano crystals which are capable of traversing through um, cell membranes and all of these different other kinds of soft tissues. You also have larger crystals. You have these structures called raphides, and these are like long, spiky needles. Um, there's also various different types of hex, hex, hexagonal kind of um, three-dimensional structures that oxalate can form in. And what this does, you can think of it like shards of glass, okay? And now if you've got a plant, uh, primarily the oxalate is going to be found in the leaves of the plant. And what this may do in nature to protect the plant is actually by providing a... Okay. Okay, guys. So we had to mute us, so there was no echo. And... Um... Yes, it does. It kills the kidneys. It kills the, the liver. You can get liver lesions from the oxalates, uh, kidney stones, gallbladder stones, problems with the thyroid. It gets into your eyes. It gets into connective tissues. It damages your, your uh, mitochondria. It goes through the blood. It gets through the blood-brain barrier. It gets into the vulva, the vagina. It gets into your, your bladder. And it's in your dark cho chocolate. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me... Because I hear that all the time and I... In my imagination, is like eating glass, shards of glass, basically. Yeah. So and they get into your bloodstream. Mm. So whenever, wherever blood is going, is going uh, everywhere. Uh, glass. Will, yes. Uh, so the thing is, rate. the thing is, you guys, is that eating foods in season makes more sense, right? Because you can dump the oxalates before they build up too high. And when you're importing all of these berries and, and plants and greens 
and chocolate and all the stuff from South America and importing it and having it here all, you know, in the middle of winter, that's when your body's not having a release from the phytic acids, the nightshades, the, the lectins, the salicylates, the oxalates, especially the oxalates because they build up and they deposit, they're really hard to get rid of. Whereas, you know, phytates and all these other anti-nutrients, you can, they come out of your body more quickly, but not the, ox, not the oxalates, not the oxalate crystals. Um, I think that's it, right? Yep. Because we've been talking how long? Uh, it's one hour, 15 minutes. One hour and 15 minutes. Okay, guys, like I said, I do consultations. You can go to stephanieperson.com. It's frozen. No, Frozen 2. Uh, yeah, Frozen 2. It doesn't matter. They just, they don't get out of the plant, you guys. They sit there, they bind, they're in the tissue. The, the best way to eat a plant that has oxalates is when it's about to wilt and die because that's when a plant doesn't need to protect itself anymore with the internal pesticide. But who's eating fruit, that food, fruit that's about to rot? You know, it's, that's the best, when it's the best. Keto Rewind, she has histamine to spinach too. Histamine to spin, what do you mean? And she's eating cheese, eggs. She's going to have issues, right, Jackie? Most of these keto people are idiots. That's the reason why I'm so glad that the carnivore movement came because they're saying what I've been saying for years and people thought I was being too strict. And then there's a diet more strict than what I was doing. I mean, can you believe that? Carnivore came around and made me not look strict anymore. My daughter had her gallbladder removed, which is horrible. Don't let them have it removed unless you have 20 stones or it's infected. Uh, removed because she developed stones. Just because you develop stones does not mean it needs to be removed. These people like to rip it out. They tell you don't need it. And without a gallbladder, you're not absorbing your fat soluble vi vitamins. So it's really dangerous. I was con convinced it was the spinach, kale, and berry smoothies she was having uh, confirmation. It can also be from estrogen dominance. So unfortunately, when there's too much uh, estrogen in the liver, and in the biliary system, you begin to develop stones. So there's more reasons just than the oxalates, but it could be a cocktail of like three or four things together. All right, guys, thank you so much to uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. book a consultation. Go to stephanieperson.com or you can go to my keto course, which is only $15 month to month. So it's one month or more than one month. There I do live mini consultations and also do course lessons every day in except for Friday and Saturday. Um, I'm a victim of the gallbladder removal. It happens to a lot of women, unfortunately. That's typically for women because of the estrogen dominance, which most women are estrogen dominant, and that's a whole nother stream. But um, uh, you can go and join the course. It's a Facebook course. Uh, so if you don't have one, make a Facebook page, make it totally private, and you'd sign up through stephanieperson.com. You can't just access the page unless you sign up. Um, I also have a keto course. Um, already said that. I'm watching him. It's distracting me. <laughs> I also have an Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, where I put stuff on my stories talking about the body every single day because uh, it's easy. I just turn on the camera, blah, 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 blah. We'll run out the door. Or uh, you can go to, go to Stephanie, the business person um, on my Facebook fan page. Or you guys... There's ancestral supplements. These guys are the shite. Sorry, that's my discount code. Steph Keto, you can't do it. use Amazon because it's too much discount. They can't make any money because these these are grass-fed animals, sheep, and um, sorry, ooh, that's from talking too much. Sheep and um, lamb and um, wait, sheep, lamb, goat, cow from their New Zealand uh, uh, livestock, which... New Zealand's very, very strict about their control of glyphosate and grass-fed meat, so they're getting it from the best place you can get these, the, the livestock. Desiccated, granular organs, and um, I've been approached to do to be sponsored many times, and I've said no over the years. I'd probably be rich had I said yes, but I waited for a company that I absolutely love. You guys know I started taking the colostrum, also the... Um, the thymus and kidney for the to regain the production of diamine oxidase to clear out histamine because I was having a histamine response even 12 years on keto. Thanks for all the information. Thank you, trees and leaves. Thank you, Jackie, for the information. Thank you, everyone who joined this chat. I'm learning now how not to be triggered anymore. See, see me guys next on Bart K's channel for the roundtable talk about keto carnivore.
And about anything you want to say, mm. uh, Greek guy? Peace. <laughs>